most. My name is Duck Munjohn, and I'm back. <clears throat> I am making millionaire pie. Oh, you want to know what millionaire pie is? I'm going to show you. And here goes the ingredients for the millionaire pie right here as we speak. Main ingredient, graham cracker crust. Gotta have the graham cracker crust. Eagle brand, sweetened condensed milk. It doesn't have to be Eagle brand, but this is a for sure brand. Sweetened condensed milk. Pineapple. Okay, the crushed pineapple. You want crushed pineapples. If you, if you get the pineapple chunks, you gotta crush them up yourself. That's up to you. More work, but if it makes you feel, you know, more of a cook, then go ahead. Cool Whip, gotta have a Cool Whip. This is one of the main ingredients. And lemon juice, okay? You guys, I know you're thinking, what is it making, what are we making? I've never seen this. It is fantastic. It's called Millionaire Pie. And I'm the one to die and I can vouch for a church. The first thing we want to do is get these pineapples out of here and drain all the juice off the pineapples, you hear me? So, we bust these pineapples open and we're gonna get all the juice out. We don't need that juice. We need the pineapples minus the juice. Now, if you wanna save the juice and drink it, and be my guest, I'm not drinking that juice, I'm gonna make me a pot. Okay, that's that one. We got one more to do. If you don't have one of these, I mean, you can kind of open the lid a little bit, pour the juice out, however you, you know, however you get down, do what you do, you hear me? All right, there we go. Let that juice drain, because we really don't need any juice. And usually I wouldn't say that. I love the juice. So, as soon as we're done draining all the juice out of the pineapple, we're going to put the pineapple in this bowl. Okay? First things first. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Here. Okay, so this Eagle brand milk I was talking to you about, this sweet condensed milk, we want to use about half of this, okay? About half of this. Because the milk is really going to soften it up a little bit. So we're going to take about half of this milk and I'm going to pour it in here. Ooh, wait. Come take a look at this. Take a look at this. Look how it just coats over the pineapples. That's just, that's just warm and fuzzy inside. I feel so warm and fuzzy. Okay, so that's about, it's about half. Okay. All right. Next thing we want to do is take the Cool Whip. Dip the Cool Whip inside here too. Now make sure you got a nice swisher bowl, swisher spoon, whatever you want to call it. I call it a swisher spoon because you're swishing it around. So a nice swisher spoon. Not a swish of sweet, a swish of spoon. <laughs> okay, where's my swish of spoon? Here we go. So now you want to take this. Get that in there. Get that in there. Get that in there. Okay? If it's too soupy, if it's too too watery, put a little bit more of this in it. If it's if it's too solid, if it's you know, put a little bit more of this in there. Okay. So right now, to me, it's kind of perfect. I like it just the way it is. I got the I got the spread right. I got the blend right. It's perfect. Whipping it up in the kitchen. It's your boy Demona Don. I host with the most, and I'm gonna show you the last ingredient. This. Now this is gonna make it really firm. It's gonna make it really solid. You know. A teaspoon of this. A teaspoon. I can measure it in my head without having a okay. So. Hey! Okay, so now got it all in there good. The lemon juice is in there, everything is in there. 
it's a nice solid blend, right? The pineapples are in there, they're inconspicuous, but they're in there. So now is the perfect time where you want to make the spread. You hear me? So now is the perfect time where you want to make the spread. Okay. So let me get my swisher spoon. Not my swisher sweet, my swisher spoon. And I happen to have it here. Okay. And we just pretty much want to lay it in here. Lay it in here real good. Lay it in here real good. It smells so good, and it smells so good. If you've never had millionaire's pie, and you really, really want to try something new for people, this is the perfect one to start out with. This would be great. Okay, so you want to get it around, get it nice and perfect, okay? Now this, I usually stick my fingers in here when I'm done and just eat it like I was when I was a kid, but maybe give it to your kids or... Do whatever you want to do with it. But get this in there real good. Make it look nice and pretty. Nice and pretty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, I'm going to peel the edges back. Put the top on. Okay. Okay. And we want to put this in the refrigerator for an hour or so. Check it. Make sure it's firm. Usually two hours is maximum, but at least an hour. Okay? Okay. Okay. And in the meantime, cut your music on. You get your dance off. Next thing, it's been about two hours since I put the pie in the refrigerator. And now I'm going to show you how it looks and how you cut it and how it's supposed to taste and how you're supposed to feel after you take it.